Oh my gosh, look at that! It's huge! He's huge! Oh, he's big! Holy cow, look at that thing! This is Rob, and I'm Rachel, and these are our boys Finn, Declan, and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Davalo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. We're presently tied up to a mooring ball in the windy Western Australian anchorage of Tantabiddy. This area is part of the 300 km stretch of turquoise clear water and white sandy beaches that make up the Ningaloo Coast World Heritage Area. It's a great place to get in a spot of kiteboarding, but what really sets this place apart is that annually, from March through to the end of July, Ningaloo Reef is one of only a handful of places on the planet where whale sharks, the largest living fish, regularly appear in relatively large numbers. And this June, following his surprise return to our boat, which left his mother and half of our viewing audience in tears, Ningaloo Reef has another visitor. One Finn Hamill is visiting his much-loved family for 10 wonderful days. For Finn, other than me and Dad, Declan and Ivan, in that order, uh -huh. what else have you missed? about being with us? Um, everything other than that. <laughs> no. We're doing a bit of kite surfing. You've missed the kite surfing. Yeah. And Declan has progressed somewhat since you last saw him. Not really. Not really? Yeah, I'll, you, uh, might, you might see a few changes. No, I'll be back there in no time. I'm sure you will. It's almost two years since Finn was last on a kiteboard. A lot has changed since then. While he has diligently been committed to his rowing back in New Zealand, we have sailed halfway round Australia. During the short window of time we have together as a family, we want Finn to create some wonderful memories that will keep him wanting to come back for more. So the timing could not have been better when two days after Finn's arrival, on the first calm day, we were invited to go whale shark hunting with a cast of many on the Z-boat. So we have 19 people on board, I think, today. Yep. We're going out to see whale sharks, maybe swim with them, maybe, I don't know, take pictures of them. There's no maybes, you know, <laughs> we are swimming with whale sharks. I don't know if I'll be getting in the water, it's a little chilly, but... Thank you for hosting us, Reno. Oh, you're very welcome. So kind of you. Hold very, on, very my lovely. earring fell out. A lot. Cut, cut. So we're very lucky today to be part of a huge party. I think there's about 20 of us here on the Z-boat, courtesy of Keith and Renee. We're hoping to see whale sharks. We've just seen a couple of humpbacks, but they're way, way, way too far away. I guess we'll see what we see. Wow. It's a big whale. Oh, look at that. That's two whales. Oh, oh, nice shot, Rach. In unison. Nice shot. Apparently there's quite a few whale sharks out here today. Might even be one out by itself that we can duck off to. And Jordan has the VHF radio, a UHF. It's a special thing, band that they use. And she's been talking to them on our behalf. And they've said, yeah, we'll give you a nod when you can go in. So looking, looking forward to it. Okay, so we're just listening in on the UHF radio, which is what um, the whale shark operators and the spotter pilots, they have planes that go around and, and find the whale sharks for the operators. And they, yeah, they use a different radio than what we normally have on a sailboat. So we're just having a little listen in to see what's going on over there. And I heard one of the pilots say, it's shark soup out there today. So there's just whale sharks everywhere. Um, they saw one that was eight or nine meters, which is really big for here, because normally they tend to be a little bit smaller than some of the ones that you see in like East Africa and stuff like that. So 
we're gonna get start getting suited up so that we're ready and then we're gonna um, give a little shout out on the radio and see if there's any extra sharks kicking around that we can hop on um, otherwise we'll wait till the operators finish and then we can dig in and hopefully yeah, get some good whale cool. shark we action. Yeah. Yes. So the whales, the whale sharks are here from March to July. Uh, the, the whales are triggered by annual coral spawning, which ah. happen between seven and ten days after the full moon uh, in March and April. So that's why they are here. Okay. Yeah, and I guess that there will be plenty of food for them. Interesting. Interesting. There certainly was plenty of food in the water today for the whale sharks, but it wasn't coral spawn. As we later found out, today was the day of days. We had once in a decade conditions. Whether it was the glassy sea state, the unseasonably wet weather we'd had, or the Zatara effect, or all of the above, just below the surface, the ocean was teeming with krill and other planktonic organisms which were tempting all forms of sea life to the area. There was such an abundance of food that even the humpback whales that normally fast during their yearly migration through Ningaloo to the northern WA carving grounds were spotted feasting and the whale sharks were uncharacteristically remaining on the surface for hours at a time. We slipped into the water for an experience that will remain with us for some time. So very exciting, we're off. Keith's taking us over in the dinghy now. It's all good, we're all ready to go. I don't see a smile upon you I see you frowning While you justify imaginary status in your mind Within the status quo your thoughts confine We are the blind, we lead the blind A juxtaposed society right for you is not for me there's no freedom like conformity no freedom all for one can't reason with the culture we've become what was that? see if it got the water it was like coming straight at me yeah <laughs> But it was impossible to get out of its way sometimes. Yeah. It's like watching a battleship go through the water. water. All the other fish it's around. So it. calm. It's amazing. There were, there were fish right by his mouth. Did you yeah. see that? And he goes, oh, oh, there's just there's there. fish all around it. Yeah. A battleship. Incredible. Once you get close to it, it just it looks awesome. It's like about three or four I times your size. It's huge. It's so cool. It's so cool. And we are the cornerstone for the lonely one. So if you've made it this far, you're a true fan, and if you're a true fan, you'll know that we made 10,000 subscribers this week, which is fantastic. <laughs> you'll also notice that there's one boy missing. We've gained this one and we've lost Declan. He's not very well at the moment, so he's in bed. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. And... Go you guys. Yeah. You're in it. Woo! Oh, and no single one of them out of the tab. <laughs> Just go? No, no, one didn't work. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> no, hey, quality. Yeah. Thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. You rock. <laughs>